Emmanuel Macron is thought to be raging at plans for Britain to lead a new European Security Council. Leaders from countries in Eastern Europe are said to want the UK to front up the new partnership after growing skeptical of Paris intelligence on Russia. Poland and countries in the Baltics still trust Britain over Brussels, France or Germany on security matters. The new body would act as a forum for countries to discuss security matters. It would also help ensure allies are united in combating common enemies after mixed messages have been sent over fears of Russia launching an incursion on Ukraine. European leaders have been impressed with the diplomatic efforts of the UK and are thought to want it to take a key role in the new council. But Mr Macron has let it be known he is opposed to the proposals. He has a chip on his shoulder over Brexit and the new AUKUS defence pact, according to The Telegraph. The French president felt blindsided in September when the UK, US and Australia unveiled the new AUKUS trilateral security agreement that focuses on mutually building military capability. It will see Washington and London help Canberra acquire nuclear-powered submarines, rendering a submarine deal struck between Australia and France redundant. Mr Macron accused the US and UK of diminishing trust with the move. With Russia amassing more than 100,000 troops on the border of Ukraine and fears of an imminent invasion, the president has sought to take a leading role in de-escalating tensions. Last week he traveled to Moscow for five hours of talks with Vladimir Putin. France has claimed it is unlikely Russia is actually preparing for a conflict. However, British intelligence concurs with evidence from America that President Putin is preparing for imminent action. A Downing Street spokeswoman said last night, the crisis on Ukraine's border has reached a critical juncture. All the information we have suggests Russia could be planning an invasion of Ukraine at any moment. This would have disastrous consequences for both Ukraine and Russia. There is still a window of opportunity for de-escalation and diplomacy, and the Prime Minister will continue to work tirelessly alongside our allies to get Russia to step back from the brink.